Hello, my name is Brian Danette, and in this video I'll briefly cover the process that we use here at the University of Minnesota Department of Lab Medicine and Pathology to generate Anki flashcards from an Omica repository. And you'll see that I have the Omica admin page loaded up here. And the first thing that we need to do to create a deck is to create a collection. Collections will hold all of our cases and images, and a collection corresponds to a deck of Anki virtual flashcards. So we'll call this collection normal lymph nodes. And we'll have to make it public. You can keep collections private while you're still working on them, but to be accessed by students and our uh, script that builds the flashcards, they have to be publicly accessible. Then we'll say add collection. And there's not much more to do here. Really, it's just a container to uh, organize the files that we'll create, the items. So now we'll create a new item, and you'll see that we have a number of items in here. And we'll add one item just called normal, normal lymph node. And you can add additional metadata. Um, and we'll add this item to the collection. And now an item can actually have multiple flashcards within it. Each set of files actually becomes a flashcard, so we'll add two images to this one. And the first one that we'll add will just be the unmarked version sort of to prompt the student. And then we'll also have the marked up annotated version. And then once we say add item, we'll be able to view the item we've just created. So here's normal lymph node. And you'll see that there are two images, one plain image and one that's more descriptive. And now we'll need to add some titles to sort of prompt or uh, give the students feedback. We'll just copy them from our previous one here once they've seen the flashcard. So the way our system is built currently, we add it to the unannotated main version of the image. And then once we go back to the item, you'll see that the image has a title of follicles vary in size, mantle zones are present, etc. So once we've created these items, we run a small Python script, and that compiles all of the images and the accompanying text into an Anki database file that the students can then download onto their PC or, or Mac or their mobile device. And initially, they'll see the blank or minimally annotated version of an image to sort of prompt them. And then they can give their answer as to what they think it is. It doesn't really evaluate them. Uh, it's more of a self-study tool. But once they've seen the annotated version and um, what the image is supposed to represent, they can evaluate their knowledge and say, I need to see this again, or I need to see this uh, later, or I know this very well, don't show it to me for a while. And they can um, adjust these durations. You'll see here that the easy items will be shown again in four days. They can increase that, decrease that as they see appropriate. Um, I'm going to say show me this again. And then this deck actually has other hematopathology slides in it as well. So you can say show answer. Oh, small lymphocytic lymphoma. I know that. And so on. And that's basically our process for using Omica to generate Anki flashcards for medical students.